Salt Lake City, Karen Larson was excited for the Route 91 Music Festival in Las Vegas over the weekend. On her Facebook page, the Clinton woman posted a selfie Thursday from the airplane on her way to Nevada. On Saturday night, she posted several pictures from the three-day festival with the caption, What a fun night! Sunday night she again posted from the festival that she was so excited to see that night's acts, including country star Jason Aldean who was closing out the festival. When Aldean began to perform, Larson, her sister and a friend moved to the front, just 20 yards away from the stage. She was on the right side of the stage, the side closet to Mandalay Bay across the street. About 20 minutes into the concert, the unimaginable happened. We just heard all this pop, 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 pop. It sounded like a string of fireworks going off. And everybody kind of just looked around and said, it's just fireworks, she said. And it hit everybody at the same time, it isn't fireworks. And everybody just hit the ground. For the next several hours, Larson said she could barely hold herself together as she switched between hitting the ground for cover, running away from the scene to the next point of cover, and finally locking herself in her hotel bathroom with her friends until a SWAT team knocked on their door. I was just screaming hysterically, and strangers kept coming up to me and grabbing my shoulder and saying, it will be okay, she said. Utah leaders joined the voices of many across the country Monday in reacting to the deadly mass shooting in Las Vegas late Sunday that killed 59 people and injured more than 500, making it the deadliest mass shooting in U.S. history. Governor Gary Herbert on Monday echoed a directive from President Donald Trump for all flags in Utah, be lowered to half staff until sunset on Friday. Utah Lieutenant Governor Spencer Cox said he was heartbroken by the news and planned on donating Blood Monday to help the victims. This one was very close to home. That was our first thought, was we know there are Utahns there for sure. We have heard from some of them. We haven't heard of any casualties of the Utahns that were there, but we know that there were many right there on the ground, literally on the ground, lying down, trying to get out of there, crawling out, he said. The stories that you hear from them are just horrific. We all think we'll never be in a situation like that. But so many people we know were. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints offered prayers to the victims and their families. To all of those affected by the horrific events in Las Vegas, we offer our deepest condolences and heartfelt prayers. We pray for those who are mourning the loss of loved ones and for those who are seeking to recover from the physical and emotional wounds they are suffering. May God bless them with the peace and comfort only he can provide in such tragic and heartbreaking moments, said church spokesman Eric Hawkins. The Catholic Diocese of Salt Lake also offered its condolences to those involved in Vegas incident. We join our nation as we mourn the tragic loss of lives in Las Vegas and pray for solace for victims, their families and the first responders who care for the multitudes harmed by this senseless act of violence. Utah Attorney General Sean Reyes also issued a prepared statement offering his sympathies. As has been the case with other mass shootings that have occurred worldwide in the recent past, perhaps out of the horror and shock of such senseless violence, we can unite in love and unity as a nation, and as a global community to demonstrate support for those suffering and to condemn all such acts of unmitigated evil.